Today is such an exciting episode and for so many reasons. I know that everyone loves our renovation projects that we're doing around our house and this episode is going to be no different. We're going to be showing you the before and after of the exterior of our house from power washing the gross gook that is on our house, cleaning it up, putting on a fresh new coat of paint, and then also adding some new touches of design. I'm Danielle at the Split Arrow Farm and welcome to our channel where we bring you new content every Wednesday and Sunday of what we're doing on our small farm and homestead. Now what's even more exciting about this project is it's actually a secret. So my fiance is going to be away for a long weekend and I've told him that I am so busy doing other things. I just cannot work on our house. We've been really wanting to paint our house because our wedding is actually only 30 days away and it will look really nice and our house Honestly, it's, it hasn't had that much work on the outside. We really wanted to do some new siding, but it just really wasn't in um, the financial landscape that we could do that right now with the prices of supplies. It's just so expensive to do things that are so simple right now. So we're just going to put that off and we're going to do a little bit of a DIY renovation to our exterior. So I'm going to take you through the whole process of what I did this weekend. And at the end, we're going to be showing it to Chris to see his thoughts and whether he likes the new look or not. Without further ado, let's get on to the power washing and painting. You have to look at the difference that this power washer is making on the white. It's crazy. Look at that. Power washed? Not. Power washed? Not. So gross. So disgusting. done all of the power washing we're gonna head outside and start to paint so I got in my nice little paint clothes here I'm gonna throw on some gloves and start painting with the first of four sides. This is probably the biggest, so I'm really happy that I'm almost done. It's around one o'clock on Friday, so I did take the day off of work to get this in so I can really get a lot finished. The bugs are getting at me, so I'm gonna spray some off and then finish up on this side. Oh my gosh, my arm is starting to get tired, but we're halfway through. And I don't know why I keep saying we're, I guess I just mean the dogs and I, but we're halfway through with painting the other large side of the house. We just have this up here above the window that I'm not really sure how I'm gonna tackle because it's a door to our garage. So we're gonna kind of figure that out, but Ooh, it's hot out here. Let's keep going. Good morning. I am right now getting ready, drinking my coffee, and I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys really quick. So yesterday was Friday, and I do have a full-time job outside of the homestead and farm, so I actually took off work so that I could get a lot of work done, and whew, a lot of stuff got done yesterday. I ended up being able to paint both long sides of the house. So we have a rectangular shaped house and I did both of the two long sides. 
as well as the basement cover. And then today what I'm gonna do is work on the two shorter sides. So I definitely think I'm gonna be able to get these done pretty quickly. The only thing is when we go outside in just a bit, I'll show you, but it is super flaky and we're gonna have to do a completely different method. So when you're painting over just regular cedar, you can just paint straight over it. This part, I'm gonna have to actually chip away some of the pieces that are flaking off and then sand it down a little bit and then we'll go in and be able to paint on top of it. So it's gonna be a little bit longer of a process. Now, that being said, I have some great tools. So I have my little scraper, which I was using to get away <laughs> spider webs yesterday. And then I have this um, brush scraper. As a secondary project last night after it got dark, I did head over to Home Depot and I got two other things from the paint section. One, I got this, I don't know if you can see it, but this is actually a stain that you can use outdoors. It's just a small sample, but I'm gonna be using this on our front door because it is wood. And I just wanna make sure that it's sealed because it's a little peely right now and I think it will give it like a fresh bright color. And then I'm really excited about this. I got a, another paint and it's a dark pewter. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. So it's like a grayish color. Now I am kind of obsessed with gray and maybe it's just like super trending, but gray is the new beige and our door is red on the outside and it's like a disgusting faded red and that's the door that everyone's gonna see while we're getting married because it's in the background so I really want to apply a fresh color to that so I picked out this color I'm really excited about and I'm hoping it's gonna look good so I might start with painting that um, just so I can kind of see how the color looks and see if I want to change it. But we're going to stop talking. I'm going to finish up my coffee and start to get ready outside. The pups are going crazy. Paige, come here. Paige, come. come here. Um, Paige, actually, I don't know if you could see it in here. She got some blue on her head. So she's really enjoying the painting. I don't know how we're going to get that off. But they kept walking into the wall. So... Okay, we're gonna go finish up this coffee and then head outside. First project, we're going to stain this door. We're only gonna do the outside because it was the worst looking. And I've already gone ahead and sanded this, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it, um, just clean it down a little bit so that it's prepped and ready for the stain. And this is mostly just to get any of the dust from sanding as well as just any other dust that may be sitting on there. Then I'm gonna take my stain and I have a rag I'm gonna use and we're just going to work this in. So excited in just two days I finished painting the entire exterior of our house Chris is gonna be home tomorrow and I want to put on some little tiny touches I still do need to get the trim painted which I don't think he gets home until later Sunday so we can definitely get that done but I am so done with painting for today so I'm gonna head to home sense home goods target and just get a few little touches to make everything look perfect so let's go good morning it is Sunday it's a little chilly and dewy this morning but I was able to get started on painting some of the trim so I have this door painted up and then I'm gonna go ahead and get over to the other side since it's a lot more visible. And then I'm gonna do some of our finishing touches. Last night I was able to make it to some stores 
and get some really cute decor items and then I'm going to just touch upon the entryways and then Chris should get home in around five hours. So I'm really excited to see his reaction. I've given him a little bit of detail so he does know that I'm painting the house. He knows the color of the house and I think that's about it. I did tell him that I had a few secrets up my sleeve and I tried not to show him too many pictures so he doesn't know what it looks like fully but I'm very excited to show off everything I've been working on and now we just need to do a few more light touches and then we're gonna be good to go. I'm really excited and I hope you guys are excited about all of the changes. I know Mags is, <laughs> but let's go ahead. I'm gonna finish my cup of coffee and then finish up some of these touches. The next step is going to be adding some floral. Obviously, we have to add some edible floral. So I have some really great stuff here as well as just some flowers. And I've been fortunate enough that I went to a garage sale the other day and was able to get some free pots, which is gonna save a lot of money. I definitely suggest that when you're doing any work to your house, you check out Facebook marketplace, you check out garage sales, estate sales, anything that's really happening in your area because you are going to be able to find really affordable options. And I'll also share what these kind of look like or comparisons, but I don't know, estate sales are where it's at. So, and then I also have this big tub of dirt back here that I got from our town center and they give out free dirt. So that also is a really great saver. I'm gonna go ahead and plant these up in these pots and we'll start to position them. Okay, it looks like we've run into some rain. So I'm gonna quickly start to decorate so that I can get everything out in time. And then we'll hide out inside and hopefully we can get as much as we can up. I think that's gonna be all we can get up for now. I'm gonna head inside and wait out the rain a little bit. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Is the right house? Ah, do you like it? I love it. It's perfect color. I think it came out really good. I want to see what leave? else you did though. Yeah. I like this a lot. I know. I thought you'd like the flowers. Hey, it's nice to touch. Yeah, and then this is the other side. Oh wow, the white's gone. Mm -hmm. The white's gone up there and there. Looks good, right? I think it looks really good. I need to paint the door. I didn't get to it, but I'm going to do a nice dark pewter and then I ordered mulch so overall you think it's good I'm very happy with what you, you did. live here I, I live here 10 out of 10 you know <laughs> what do you got to tell the people Danielle did a good job thanks Danielle see you next time see you next time I'll split our farm <laughs>